Hi, in the last session, we um, created the or we model the determination to set the order ID on our business object. So now let's see how we can implement the determination class. So as we so we are already in our business object. Let's double click on the determination. Take the class name and open a separate session so you can double click and go and edit the class here itself but now i just want to have some separate sessions probably we i need to refer these business object information later so that's the reason i want to go with a separate session open the transaction code to edit your class se24 so same approach and provide your class name go in change mode so we know that we want to implement the execute method okay so in the last session when we are modeling this determination as i you know as we discuss so there are different parameters are available on your execute method so this is the interface which is called as if affordable determination interface on that there is a method execute and you can see there are different parameters so you can see here this is an importing parameter so there is a isctx and then you have it key which is type of framework key and i will read and i will modify and these up to this point these are the importing parameters. these four are the importing parameters of your method and these are two exporting parameters that's the reason we put the clear statement straightforward to make sure that you no know, so as above suggest always you know all your exporting para to be cleared as a, in, immediately on your function or maybe in your method okay let's see how you know what we having it in the uh, importing parameters this is a is underscore ctx is a context information of your determination so this is a type of frwo underscore ctx det let's double click on this type yeah I just want to make sure that what was I changed it in the method to be saved. So here, this determination context structure, you have uh, different attributes are available. It's going to tell you what is the BO key, meaning this determination has been modeled under which business object key and the business object root node key. And on that business object what is a node level you know you might be having a different node under the business object and which node this determination has been currently triggered that information is going to come on this node and then the determination key you might be having a multiple determination has been modeled what is the determination has been called so similar way what is execution time point association and cleanup mode cut. so these are the interface context information so with these attribute you should be able to find out and dynamically or maybe you know in in your determination which is the point in time your determination is triggered you if you model your determination for a multiple trigger point so you have to identify you know you if you need to have a separate logic to be built with a different different time point then you can use this all the option to determine which point in time this has been triggered and what level node level what item level this determination has been used that so that is all your context information you can able to read it out from this particular importing parameter then so you have something called as it key which is a type of frw key and which has a line type of s frw key which will have only one attribute key so basically this is the importing parameter is a table internal kind of internal table which will hold your keys are instance of your determination so if you have this determination has been triggered for a multiple i instance all that corresponding instance information will be part of this key it is a table type it's a type table type with the attribute as a key as so only one attribute is available here to get to your instance which instance the determination has been triggered so if you see here so your et fail key which is also a same similar type okay so meaning that what are the determination so which are the instance the determination is triggered if there is any failure while you're executing this determination if there is any failure you want that key to be uh, no, no notified to your framework you can append that corresponding instance in your fail key so you can see 
for that same type you can just append this information back to the framework the framework will take care of the what action need to be taken care for the faint keys based okay let's come back to the impact importing parameter which is i will read again which is a type ref to it's another interface frwo read if you go here this interface will provide you couple of method which is one called retrieve and retrieve by association also get root key convert alternate key so as you see in the previous sessions we model the alternate key when you want to convert it from your alternate key to your readable id if you want to do that you can use this option same way compare so which is currently say that you now what is your current state of your current instance which you want to identify you can use these objects so there are different methods will provide you so retrieve is nothing but similar to your read data and to get the corresponding instance information you can use the retrieve we will see how we can use this method and retrieve by association so for example you have the instance are triggered for the root node of your sales order business object and you want to get the corresponding item node information so based on the the input of your ret retrieval is your root node instance but the output of the retrieval you want to get it your item details so you are getting the corresponding item information of the root node so that's a point so it's association so what is the relationship between the root and item you want to resolve it that point in time use a retrieve by association method so these are the five different methods are available on your read interface so let's go back and see what we having it and io modify so on io modify so which is also um, you know again another interface so which provide you couple of different method so the name mostly you should be able to understand it's going to provide you your cred operations create update delete or maybe call any other actions or maybe you wanted to get any kind of association change so these are the different methods can be used to update or maybe create additional instance all that purpose you can utilize it so let's see how we can use this method methods of this particular interface also so then there is a finally uh, there is another um, exporting parameter eo message which is type of framework message object it's another interface type which is basically you know you want to raise any messages out of this determination you can use that so if you want to set any message to be to your ui application you can use this object so these are the different um uh, importing and exporting parameter for the execute method pretty much similar way you will have the you know um interface parameter for your check delta and ch check so check delta so we'll have similar to your is context and your io read whatever you see it but here you have the it key because check delta is been utilized to make sure that like you no know, if you want to there are some dynamically you want to control the determinations okay so the framework by default you trigger the instance of 10 instance 10 it 10 instance of your it keys but you don't want after analyzing the data of these 10 instance you want to exclude some instance out of that and then you can implement the logic here to exclude so based upon your field values you can exclude the logic here to you know remove the ctk so you can see this is a changing parameter so whatever the ctk is coming for the determination you can just use this and delete remove the ctk and pass the remaining key then the determination of the remaining method will be executed for those key which is being exported as a ctk changing parameter similar approach so you can see check for the relevant data changes if that dynamically you want to make sure that is a relevant data changes to be validated you can use that same way if that determination has a relevant field values then you can use the check method which is also again the same approach okay so you have all the three only three parameter so you have a ct key so you will receive 10 instance so you find that five fields doesn't have a, a relevant value then you exclude those five instances and pass the remaining five instances as a ctk pack then the determination will execute only for those five instances so that's a way this entire class can be implemented so let's go back 
to the our execute method and start implementing the logic to set your order id for your business object uh, so how to write this how to utilize this method to get to write the logic let's see on the next session thank you